Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and on my video today. The background is a little bit different. This is my Twitch setup. So you are not getting YouTube setup today. You're getting Twitch setup. Just my computer, just because my ring light was in here and I was lazy. But anyway, we are going to be jumping into Trisha Paytas is yet again talking about drama. And I feel that for someone who's harping on and on and on about not being involved in drama, not wanting drama to be a part of her life. It's not really who she is anymore. Jesus, she talks about it a lot, doesn't she? So, we have Trisha on her live stream that she did. Thank you so much to Animal Kingdom for sending this to me in DMs. Um, she's talking about this documentary that's being made about drama again. And as we're aware, we talked about it yesterday and the day before, so I'm not really going to get into it much more than basically just saying that documentary is being made about anti-fandoms of Trisha Paytas basically and Trisha Paytas hate and how she is you know the victim and how reddit bullies her and how the internet bullies her even though she's been the bully her entire life and her entire career you know the, the drill right we've talked about it we're gonna get on to something new today which is this new live stream of her talking about the filming the process of it I've not watched this before filming this video because I like keeping it all as a surprise and genuine reactions to you um but all I'm gonna say is the only person really continuing to talk about this is Trisha. And then we respond, and then Trisha talks about it again. I just think that Trisha Paytas tried the, the, the mommy angle on YouTube and is trying it, and people really aren't interested in it. The same way her peers tried it, and, you know, it was a, it was a revival of their careers, you know, being the mommy vloggers and stuff. People really aren't caring when it comes to Trisha, and she's definitely struggling when it comes to content and what's going to stick. And, I mean... This is no shade. I mean, my content revolves around drama and commentary and stuff like this, but the only time Trisha's getting views as of recently on her main channel is when the title has to do about drama or Reddit. And even then, it's, you know, it's peaking at the same similar views that what a lot of, you know, my peers get. Like me, Peter Mon, Rich Lux, Spill Sesh, T-Spill. So, um, she's definitely resorting to drama again as content to talk about and a way of getting views. But you can't do that whenever you're continuously telling us day in, day out that you're so over drama and that's so not you anymore. But anyway, let's just get into what this live stream is. This week. Um, and um, yeah, it's basically like a one month documentary, but I'm only participating like five days of it because it is a little bigger than just myself, but it is an anti-Reddit documentary. Um, oh, 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 I have tea for you. I have tea for you. So remember yesterday she talked about a journalist who had like a compiled list of all of the times Malibu has been doxxed and bullied and all these different things. Remember that journalist who sent her that thing? Yeah, I saw the folder. I, I, I saw the folder. I asked for the folder from the journalist and I saw the folder. The folder does not, it, the folder is mostly times on the previous Trishy Land Reddit, not the Trishy Land wifeys, the new one, different moderators. By the way, for anyone who wants to know what's in that folder that Trisha keeps talking about is the main purpose this documentary is being made and all her evidence. It's basically what was included in the journalist's article on Trishy Land from ages ago and maybe a couple times where they're making fun of Trisha's weight or Trisha's lips or something like that. Um, I did not see any doxing or bullying of the daughter, which she keeps harping on and on about. Again, that's just my... Maybe I didn't look far enough, but I mean, I... I did some digging behind the scenes, I messaged some people, and I got, you know, the contents of the folder. So this is the big folder Trish is talking about, and it basically is just the OG Trishy Land um, information that was put in that journalist article, and I didn't see any bullying or doxing of Malibu Barbie that Trisha keeps talking about, that the daughter, again, I can be proven wrong, I'm just saying what I saw. Maybe there's a different folder out there, but from what Trisha was talking about yesterday, I'm pretty sure I got the right one. But again... I could be wrong, but I'm just saying that I didn't really believe Trisha in my video yesterday, and I don't believe her even more today. Um, so, yeah, it's about Snark Reddit, so basically we didn't know how we were going to approach it, I didn't know if we were going to include this or talk about it, but we're talking about it, like I said, cats out of the bag, I'm not hiding from it, we just didn't know how we were approaching it, and now it's just all out there, so yes, I'm filming a documentary this week, it's about Snark Reddits, on, um, it's so funny, sorry. Hi, funny, sorry. I missed your comment. Um, 
feeling manic what should i do oh my gosh okay first of all let me like pay attention to you because you guys are the ones that like i love and this has like been a hectic week for me because like of the staff memory like so much stuff is like coming out again and like i mean i haven't talked about my past and it's like the last time i'm talking about this like once and for all this documentary will be the end i'll be all it'll either be great or so this is the last time she's talking about drama okay she said that right before she gave birth she said that after giving birth, she said that a month ago, she said it a week ago, she said it two weeks ago, she said it a year ago, she said it the year before that, so. I would much rather Trisha Paytas sit down and be like, I need drama. I'm obsessed with drama, my work revolves around drama, I need drama to make money. I would, I would actually respect her a lot more if she said that, rather than this, like, I don't need it, I'm so above it kind of attitude, because you're not. Like, I don't know, blah, but whatever. Anyway, if you're feeling manic, Take a breath, which I don't know myself right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Great, let's just clear our thoughts. Can we just have a minute of just saying, I am happy. I am at peace. I choose happy today. I choose to be positive today, no matter what happens. I only see the good in others. I only approach things with, with love and like. She's okay. really beating her face with so, that, right? My cunt. Kesa Ross, thank you guys for subscribing. What did she just say? My cunt. This is someone trick her into saying Mike. <laughs> Did someone have their name as Mike Hunt? And she just read it really quick. <laughs> Did someone get her to say the C word? <laughs> like, that's it. So, Mike Hunt. The internet is ruthless. Lisa Ross, thank you guys for subscribing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one that's mad at me. <laughs> Can I just hear that one more time? That's it. So, my god. Kesa Ross, thank you guys for subscribing. <laughs> I'm going to be a guest judge on Drag Race. I would absolutely love to have my first appointment with a fertility doctor. Hope I can manifest a beautiful baby. Manifesting all that for you, sending you so much baby dust. I have a feeling that it will definitely happen. Okay. Right. She's really pining that shit, right? So. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. 420 Mommy, thank you for being a new subscriber. So, yeah, I'm kind of going to make up quickly, but I want to pop up on here because I just... I have yeah, crab, crab feel was good. I just like wish I could have eaten it like sitting down. I just like like to sit down. I don't like love, Hold on, we get back on topic like, in a second. To go. Oh, I don't I don't like taking even last night. We had such a long day. Yesterday was the first day I was filming this documentary. Here we go. And it was like such a long day that by the end of the day I was like, oh, I just wanna like you know, you just want more takeout, but I wasn't like feeling takeout, so I just made butter and else. Our baby is so born on your part and female group about the same time. So I don't lie, well, oh. Are you in California? Maybe we can like Go to each other's birthday parties. <laughs> Our daughter's birthday. Ugh, that is so weird and parasocial to say. That is so weird and parasocial to say. Wait, but I thought Trisha had a problem with stalkers. Why is she openly wanting to meet up with her fans? Nope, that's not it. Parties. That's the button. Um, hold on, I can get... Oh, live paused. This is a great live stream. Thank you all for sending this to me. Um, hold on. Hello. But yeah, that's our map. But yeah, you know, to Honey Bunny, who's saying, what should I do when I'm manic? You know what? I'm feeling a little, you know, just a little overwhelmed. But, you know, it's all good. It's fine. It's all going to be good because I'm in a good place. No matter what happens, whatever the outcome will be. But why would you want to do it then? Why would, what is your end goal in doing this documentary? What would you want from it then? You're saying that it's going to go down wrong, probably. And you're gonna protect your piece. So why are you doing it? You know what I mean? Everything's okay. Everything works itself out the way it's meant to. I'll feel good knowing that I tried my best. But what is the end goal? What is your end goal, Miss Fishy? You know what I mean? Her narrative doesn't fit up with her actions. Shocker. Hi, Kane. What's up, Kane? Hi. So we just take it all one day at a time.
Yeah, but if you guys don't know I'm doing a documentary, it's about snow. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. For someone who doesn't want to talk about drama, she sure is reminding us. Fuck me. I think Trisha's probably secretly so happy she's involved in drama again. So happy. Well, this is the Trisha we know. Snark credits. If you've ever been affected by a snark credit, um, my, my main channel video today was about the documentary and how if you, you want to be involved if you've ever had um, any sort of interaction on Reddit, good, bad, to you, to someone else. Anything. So now people are supposed to reach out if they've had any interaction on Reddit for this documentary. I can see the clear vision of the documentary right now. Reddit. Is that it? If you, even if you're like a fan of mine and have been harassed by people from there, like, yeah, don't let miserable Reddit weirdos get to church. I know. And like, that's the, what I've been learning through this whole thing is like, it is a small, small minority and I do pay too much attention to it. And so that's why this is like once and for all out there. Once and for all. Okay. Because it does get a little borderline harassment. That's the only reason I'm saying something. Otherwise, I'd be like, fine. If people just hate me, it's like, fine. People hate me. Cool. Like, you know, have your own little group to hate me. But it's like, once there's like lies, children, and doxing involved, like that kind of... Now, again, from said folder that I've seen personally, now, there may be things I haven't seen yet. The doxing in question was people talking about locations that Trisha was at after she left them from her filming videos there or taking Instagrams there or posting in real time there. And then people would talk about the location in which she was at. That she had publicly posted that she was at. That's all I've seen. There may be other things, but that's all I've seen. I'm keeping it 100 with you from what I've seen behind the scenes. There may be other things, I'm sure there is, but from what I've seen, it was that. And so then I'm like, okay, no, you're not gonna slander me, you're not gonna, you know, do this. Like, that's just, I'm not gonna take that, you know what I mean? So, that's where- Holy we're... fuck, how is her face not red from that pinding? Just putting the fucking contour on. At today, and yeah. So I'm just gonna do a super, super light look. <laughs> sure. You know, just the usual. You guys know the drill. But I miss you guys. I trust your words and heart voice. It's close. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Oh. And that's why I would actually like to talk to people from that Reddit, you know, the ones that are willing to talk, because it's like, I'm a human at the end of the day, like, I'm happy to just have a conversation, like, you know, a lot of those people are obviously fans, they watch me, right, they watch my every move, they watch every day, they're fans, and it's like, if you're, if you were a fan, and you get, like, kind of, you get the ick from things I say, okay, let me, let me talk to you about it, let me, like, explain it, let me apologize, let me do what I gotta So why is she blocking a bunch of people then? Me included. Like, that's not wanting to talk to people. That's being very selective in who you're talking to. So you would much rather speak to a random Reddit user anonymously than speak to someone who's showing their face on YouTube videos, Instagram videos, TikToks, Twitter. Like, it seems like you're very, very um, cherry-picking who you're talking to because you're trying to one-up them. So you're not trying to have a, a unbiased, you know, thing. I do to like win you back as a fan because most of them are and then some just people like just love to hate I guess I don't know because sometimes people just love like misery I guess but I some people some people I would genuinely love to know these kind of things because people are so adamant about it and it's like it's it's really just hurtful at the end of the day so anyways there's that So that's what we're doing today, and yeah, I am just gonna go super quick with my makeup. Favorite color recently? I'm gonna always Clearly just. Clearly, her audience are so involved in what she's talking about. She's talking about drama, and all they care about is her favorite color. Very clearly, got some very interested fans here, Trish. With the traditional um pink, you know, I love my pink. I don't think I could ever stray away. I don't even think I have a second favorite color if I like try enough to think of one. It's so funny because like shadow liner is so much easier. Like why haven't I started doing it? shadow liner? Remember, it's Lila. Lila, thank you. Your pink blender, so it's like a little more. 
Okay. How's your baby? She is Oklahoma where the wind comes. Breathe. And let any bad thoughts go. And there's that. All right. So, you guys actually do have to run. I'm so sorry that I can't stay longer, but um, we will do longer ones soon. Thank you guys so much for being here. And yeah, check out my new YouTube video. And it's about, all about the documentary I'm currently filming. And yeah, thank you for the flower crown. If you didn't know, she's filming a documentary about the Reddit, about drama. Well, um, yeah, there we go. Everyone was sending that to me to let me see that. Thank you, Animal Kingdom. Thank you to people on my Discord that were also sending me it. Let me know your opinion. Bleak. Um, I'll talk to you down below about it. Please make sure you're subscribed. Please go follow me on Twitch. I'm about to go live. We are going to be watching D'Angelo Wallace's video on Jeffree Star or Taddy Westbrook. I don't know which one, whichever one you want. Um, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.